Well, Father O'Brien here for another episode of Bridging the Distance, a way for you to remain connected to Santa Clara while we are sheltering in place and dispersed around the globe. Today, we have a, a, a really wonderful guest. Ann Hunter is the manager of the Maker Lab at Santa Clara University, and they are doing some incredible things to serve our community uh, during the pandemic. So welcome, Ann, to Bridging the Distance. Hi, thanks for having me. Great. So what, first thing, you're located on the third floor of Guadalupe Hall. Um, what, what is a Maker Lab? So the Maker Lab is a hands-on prototyping space. Um, we are actually one of the, the first Maker Labs at a university um, and have continued to help shape uh, the way other universities are forming maker spaces. Um, we are open to the whole university, students, staff, and faculty. So we'll have a variety of users come in uh, to prototype and make components for various projects. That's cool. But so the Maker Lab uh, this month is, is really helping address a, a great need for um, face shields. Yes. Okay, so can um, you explain how we learned about that need and what we're doing to address it? Yeah, so I reached out to Maker Nexus, that's a local nonprofit makerspace um, that was helping create face shields for local medical personnel. Um, they had more orders than they could fulfill, so we are helping 3D print components for them. Um, we have the headband piece um, that the shield attaches onto and then the bottom reinforcement that curves the shield to protect the face better. Um, and you can see behind me here, I have a variety of 3D printers running um, so that we can produce these parts. That's really cool. And how many will you be able to produce? So we have already delivered over 140 of the headbands and over 250 of the bottom reinforcements. Um, we can produce parts for uh, around 100 shields a week. Um, though they are switching to injection molding on the top part, so we'll be able to produce even more of the bottom reinforcements. Cool. Now, usually, I, I've been up there to the Maker Lab. Usually, it's packed with students during uh, any given week, but it's pretty quiet there now. You must miss having students around. Yeah, so usually we have students for classes coming in, uh, student clubs working in here. Since we're open to the whole university, we'll also have faculty and staff coming in to work on projects. So it's a very different experience just to have myself um, and one other person in here social distancing while we run these projects. Yeah, well, we'll look for the time when the, the lab is filled again. Uh, but in the meantime, you're doing great work. How, how is it connected to our, to our Jesuit mission, the work that you're doing now and in the, and in the lab? Um, so we are um, following our Jesuit values of service to others. Um, in this space, we can innovate um, and create projects to help those in need. Um, so while we are continuing to work on these face shields, we're also seeing what other projects we could potentially do in the future, either with this crisis or other uh, rapid humanitarian efforts. Um, and not only are we working on these projects, but there's a lot of other uh, student organizations in the School of Engineering that are using their expertise to help others as well. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, because at Santa Clara, we. We don't just innovate, we innovate, you know, um, uh, with a mission. And we ask for whom are we interview, in, innovating and for what? And we want to put what we're doing for the good of others. So, and thanks to you and, your, and the other folks there for really helping uh, at a time where we need uh, protective gear for our medical professionals. Thank you for having me. Great. All right, well, thanks for joining us for this episode of Bridging the Distance. If you have suggestions for future uh, profiles or stories, just uh, let us know. Until then, take care and God bless.